I just can't find a boyfriend. No one will ever like me. Well, stop it. Get yourself together. Yes, you can't find a boyfriend. In this video, we will first discuss the possible reasons on why you have been failing and what you can try and do to turn the situation around and make guys chase you instead. Ready? Now let's get it. Frustrated, sad, hopeless, defeated, totally understand. It's hard, especially when you, you see people finding someone left and right, but you're still looking. Now, let's first analyze the situation a little bit, okay? First of all, why? Why do you even want a boyfriend to begin with? Have you even thought about that simple question? Why do you want a boyfriend? Just so you know, some people have no problem being alone and succeed in being alone. Okay, you say you want a boyfriend because you want companionship, comfort, someone to rely on, someone you can grow old with, or simply you just don't want to be alone. Many, many, many reasons. Remember, it takes two to form a bond. It takes two persons who want a relationship and want each other to form a bond. You following so far? So let's blame him first, then we'll get back to you. Well, some boys or men just simply don't want to be in a relationship. Simple as that. And yes, there are weirdos and jerks out there. But just because you're attracted to a certain type doesn't mean he is the right guy for you. Okay, just for example, some people they tend to fall for the bad boys because they are, I don't know, cool or whatever. But the problem is, let's say the bad boys are obviously not looking for a relationship. They just want to play. Then why throw yourself to him and put yourself through the impossible and then make yourself hurt? They aren't right for you. And that's just for example's sake. What I'm trying to say is that you cannot force people to fall for you. So that part you cannot control. Now let's get back to you. What's wrong with you? Well, it's very easy to blame others and you aren't wrong. And yes, there are horrible jerks out there playing with people's hearts and emotion. But let's get back to you, the part that you can control. Because ultimately, your goal is to help the guy to see how you two can potentially develop and hopefully sustain a relationship together. Have you ever thought about how you present and conduct yourself? Look, I'm not blaming you. Don't get me wrong. But I just want you to think about it for a moment. Are you too loud? Are you too quiet and shy? Are you too bitchy and you complain too much? Do you treat other people nicely? Are you being too negative or pessimistic all the time? Are you fun? Are you a fun person to be around with? Can you take a joke? So yeah, think about how you present yourself to a potential date. Think about how you can help him picture you two together. Does he want to go out with the person who has no opinion on anything? Does he want to go out with uh, you know, someone who complains just about everything in life? Does he want to go out with a person who has zero self-confidence? Does he want to go out with a person who is dressed way too casually or way too over the top? See, this is the part that we can control. I cannot certainly give you a definite answer on how you should act and you have to be true and comfortable with yourself after all because you want the person to fall for the real you, not the one you're pretending to be. So it's just that you need to be aware of how you present yourself. How you present yourself is how you will attract certain kind of guys. I mean, do I make any sense? Like, um, if you are loud and belligerent and have a foul mouth, you are rude and you throw shade at every chance, how will that help the potential date picture you two going out again? Like, um, think about that. So now, once you've identified your problems by yourself and for yourself, 
the real works begin. Because there are indeed ways to turn this around and it's something that uh, everyone can do. You ready? It's something that I've said in several of my other videos. And don't roll your eyes, because I do have a point to make if you keep following my stream of thoughts. It is to get a life and focus on bettering yourself. It sounds generic and a little bit harsh, right? But what I mean is to find something that you're passionate about and be knowledgeable about it. And that's number one, like uh, cooking, fitness, sports, books, movies, business, I mean anything. It doesn't necessarily attract the guys in the similar field, but it makes you more, what's the word, um, wholesome, layered, more dimensional when you have your own life and passion going on. And ultimately, it makes you more interesting because you make them think they can possibly learn something from you and you have something to offer. Just to illustrate my point, since I started focusing and learning more about personal wellness, such as healthy eating, fitness, skincare about a year ago, my appearance has started to change dramatically over a year. And I started to have people notice my changes in appearance and they started asking me about stuff. And they are curious and they want to know how. So not necessarily finding a boyfriend in my case, but I did start having more and more people coming to me because of that. So it's a way to make yourself more interesting, I guess. And number two, your personal qualities like manners, attitudes, social etiquette, personality, humor, tempers, etc. Because in addition to intimacy, will you be able to offer him comfort, compassion, a helping hand, trust, someone to rely on, support? I mean, we are human beings after all. We have ups and downs, good days and bad days. There are so many different situations and circumstances in our daily lives. How are two people going to maneuver through all the challenges? That's when personal qualities kick in. He knows you can lighten the mood when things get heavy. He knows you will be respectful even if you two have two different opinions. He knows he can introduce his friends to you because you are fun and friendly. He knows he can open himself up to you because you offer listening ears and not be judgmental. So as I said over and over again in this video, help the potential guy picture you two together make the guy want and chase you instead. You do not have to change who you are because you still want the guys to love you for yourself. But bettering yourself will help you better succeed in attracting more people and hopefully ultimately that will lead you to a potential long-lasting relationship. And for people who tend to meet people on social apps, same thing, no difference and you have to meet the guy in person eventually anyway. So yes, with a little bit of patience and luck, the better you will give you a better chance in succeeding in finding a potential date. Now get your butt out there, date and enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to follow me across social media platforms for more fun content. Good luck and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.